Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be tying a Butano or Firestarter Pertagon. Um, you can find it in the catalog online. Really good attractor style Pertagon um, with all Pertagons. They are resined um, heavily on the body and that's to get through the water column as I'm sure you guys know. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Foil mill uh, jig force number 14 with a 2.8 silver bead. Put some super glue here so you can fix the, the bead on the crank. Just need a little dab of it. I like to get it up and through there. Just push it up against and hold it where the bead kind of touches the back end of the eye there. Super glue is there, it will grab and hold. All right, so we're going to be using two different colors of thread. I got a fluorescent fire orange here, and I got a, it's a uni, just fluorescent orange, 70 denier. So we're going to use the, the uni for the main working thread. Let's attach that, make a little thread dam. Back. Cook deli on for the tail. I like to use a pretty good chunk of CDL to show off the speckling and the natural modeling of the feather. Um, about as long as the hook shank. A little long. So I like to take just two like loose medium wraps and uh, tie it in longer than you would that way you can kind of like pull it and adjust it where you want it to be good tip take a locking wrap underneath so it kind of splays it out makes it look nice scissors trim right behind the bead tie those down Take touching turns all the way back. Just before the tail. And I got some super secret like fluorescent peach tinsel here. That's the key. So I'm gonna take that up and underneath. that down up to just behind the bead there and then start wrapping your tinsel I like to go up and back and come up again just to get that nice color variation of this peachy tinsel with the underbody of the fluorescent orange. That's the key. <clears throat> so touching turns up and back. I just like to make open sparkling wraps. I mean, if you want it sparser, you could just do one up and one down, or just even one up if you really wanted to. Like I said, it's in a, a tractor style pretty gun, so I'm trying to make it as annoying as possible. All right, trim that down, I trim that off rather. Whip finish. So that's your main body done there. Now we're going to switch to um, Danville's. I mean, you could use anything that's really fire orange. You could use Glow Bright number four. That's a good one. I just happen to have this ready. It's about the same thing, just a little bit different. It's 
flat and waxed, so, which is actually better, I think. It'll grab better for you. Just attach that. Trim off the tag end. Clean it up. Whip finish. Snug it down so it's nice and secure. <clears throat> and we can start resining. So that's your, your base fly there. And you can apply a really light coat with some really thin UV resin. Make sure it soaks into that thread really good. Thin resin's really nice because it kind of works as a super like water-based glue. Soak it in and just hit it with the light and see how that glows. That should be cured. And now for the wing case dot right behind the bead here, we're going to use just a black uh, UV resin. This is a solar res one. A little bit of this stuff goes a pretty long way, so careful not to overdo it. If I can get some on. There we go. And I'll put a little little bit more on there so it shows up better. There we go, that's the one we wanted. I do notice that the black UV resin takes a little bit more to cure and that's probably just because of the black colorant that they put into it. And then we can go back over it again just to seal everything up. Brushing off my excess here to spread this around. I'm not applying more. I'm taking some off because I dabbed a little bit too much on there, trying to thin everything out. That looks okay. Cure it up. Should be good. All right, there you go. There's your fire starter Pertagon jig. You can check it out on the website and order it from there. Buy some or tie some up. It's a good one. Thanks.